The G7 is the dominant seven chord. It's the blues chord because it has, we've had up until now major and minor triads. It has a diminished triad in there. It's got a major, G major, there's the G major, but here is a B diminished. And people don't think about the diminished triad. They think about the diminished seven chord, which is like this, which, which is great because you can get some nice sounds out of it. But when I think diminished, I think diminished triad because that's the sound, that's the blues chord. Here it is down here. So if I'm playing G7 in this particular voicing, that's the part of the chord that I want to emphasize. I can take this triad and move it to the very next triad down here, which is F, and put the F in there with the B in the bass. Now this chord sounds like this in this inversion. It sounds a little hard or harsh, I should say. Some people go, sounds great. I love the sound of it. Let me show you what we'll do. We'll take that F major and move it up here. And I'm going to put the B here. And that's my half diminished. Listen to the sound of this. Very close voicing. Here's my E7. And here's my A. So that's a cool way to... cases when you have very complicated chords that have lots of extra notes such as altered notes flat 5 sharp 5 flat 9 sharp 9 those notes will bring up new triads and in the case of this E major just if we look here we'll take that E major chord that we had in the chord scale we had this C major 7 sharp 5 put a G in the bass and now you have a 13 flat 9 sound. So if you're going for that kind of outside angular sound, and that's how I would be able to get things like, I'm going to take the top notes. Next chord, B flat minor 7, B flat minor, E flat 7, the G diminished, and then for the A flat, I'm going to go to C minor. For the D flat, I'm going to go to an F minor, and I'm going to stay there for the G7, but what I can